Hey guys, it's Steve here from Droid Africa. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Xiaomi Redmi 5. If you like my video, please consider supporting my channel by subscribing. Xiaomi Redmi 5 is currently one of the impressive mid-range smartphones from Xiaomi. The device has a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display with a 1440 by 720 pixel resolution covered with Corning Gorilla Glass. You get a front facing 5 megapixel camera, a soft flash, the speaker grill and the ambient sensor just above the display. The right hand side carries the power button and the volume rocker, while a 3.5 mm audio jack, infrared blaster and a noise cancelling secondary microphone are kept overhead the phone. Only a hybrid SIM trail is kept to the left hand side of the device, but at the basement you get the primary mic, a USB 2.0 port and the single loudspeaker. At the back you get a protruded 13 megapixel main camera, a single LED flash and a fingerprint sensor just below it. Design wise, the smartphone is built into a brushed aluminum unibody which feels very comfortable to hold with its 2.5D curved edges at the front and back. However, I'm not a fan of protruded red cameras on a smartphone, of which the Xiaomi Redmi 5 is a big victim. The phone maintains a very thin bezels on its four sides, resulting to about 76% screen to body ratio. The display itself is bright enough for both indoor and outdoor use. Viewing angles are ok too, but you might notice some fuzzy colors when using the device under full brightness due to poor color reproduction. Powering the device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 Octagon processor clocked at 1.8 GHz. This processor is a 64-bit chip built on a 14nm architecture along with Adreno 506 GPU with 3GB of RAM and 32GB internal storage. As you would expect, the device runs on MIUI V9 based on Android 7.0 Nougat. Of course, Snapdragon 450 Octa-core processor is not a top notch in the industry, but combining it with MIUI V9 based on Android 7.0 helped the Redmi 5 to be smooth and fluid most of the time. Navigating through demanding web pages was not a problem for this device. The Adreno 506 GPU was also able to handle all the graphical games I tested on this device without any issue. As for the OS, MIUI is one of the most customizable user interface in the entirety of Android ecosystem. Almost every single aspect of the OS is customizable from the behavior of the power buttons and volume rockers as well as the behavior of even the on-screen nav keys. And if you love seeing different display skins on your smartphone, then you can safely dive into MIUI thousands of custom skins and display themes, which can be downloaded directly from MIUI online team store. The OS also supports dual app features, which allows you to have a single app with dual functionality on your device. For example, you can have two WhatsApp applications with two different accounts, which works simultaneously without logging out of any. As mentioned before, the Redmi 5 is fluid and smooth such that even under heavy use, you hardly notice lags and hangs. But sadly, I do still get some Google apps like Google services for closing with errors. The camera department includes a 12 megapixel sensor with a single LED flash. The camera supports PDAF f2.2 aperture along with age and gender recognition. The camera app is a customized Xiaomi camera which retains almost similar functionalities with standard Android camera apps but with different interface, something similar to iOS. As for the camera quality, well, you will get a bit more than what you pay for. Yeah, you will surely get great camera output so long as you stay away from low light shots. That does not mean that low light shots are totally miserable on this device, but I would prefer sticking with full daylight shots. And as for the front facing 5 megapixel sensor, well, nothing really new to talk about aside the beauty effect, which I don't use. One thing that blew me away with this device is how rich the sound output is. Despite hosting a single loudspeaker, the sound output is so rich that you will have absolutely nothing to complain about. As a matter of fact, if you ask me to pick out an aspect of this device that I like the most, I think the sound quality is going to top the chart due to its loud and notable bass both via the loudspeaker or a plugged-in board. Another aspect of this smartphone that I so like is the rear fingerprint scanner. Man, the scanner is real fast.
For reasons unknown to me, Xiaomi decided to ship the Redmi 5 with a 3300 mAh battery, which is somewhat a downgrade in battery size compared to what we saw on the Redmi 4. But despite that, you have no issue with the battery on this smartphone at all. I easily get through 48 hours of moderate use, yet with some juice to spare. But for this, I decided to get heavy on the phone. The maximum I do get is a full day use, which is still impressive. And when you run out of juice, well, the bundled 5 V2A charger is able to push the battery to 100% real fast. Some good features you are getting on this device includes a great build quality, capable and fast hardware and software, faster fingerprint scanner, superb sound output and impressive battery life. But if you want to hate, well let me give you two reasons to do so, poor color saturation and extra protruded rear camera. However, in my opinion, if your smartphone budget falls around $120 and you are looking for a more frugal processor and fast OS to power your daily smartphone needs. You can confidently trust the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 Octa-core processor in the Redmi 5 to do that for you. So that is it, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tech stories.